guys, welcome to my channel. This is Nicholas Snow H, and I'm back with another Vanda reaction. Um, today's gonna be a double header. It's gonna be parentheses uh, and coda. I think those are the titles, and those are a few suggestions and uh, that some some of you guys commented on that I should check out, or you suggested it to me. Um, so I'm very thankful for that. And it's weird because I swear every time I react to him, and I, I probably go about three four weeks um, from every reaction I do. And there's usually like a new content, a new video out or new music out from him. But this time I didn't see anything new. So uh, I wanted to check out some of his old stuff because I still haven't gotten through his whole catalog. Um, a lot of, I'm sure there's so many songs that I haven't seen yet. Um, and, and many that probably don't have any music videos at all. But uh, So this is going to be the lyric video, two parentheses. We're going to start with that. If you've seen my reactions from the past, you know how much I, I love him. Uh, one of the only rappers that I react to on my channel. And he's been such a, like, someone that I had no idea about ever existing before making this channel. Um, and now he's one of my favorite rappers, just, you know, in, in the whole scope of the rap game. He's, you know, Cambodia's finest. His creative, um, I always like, like to talk about his creative talent and just his ability to make good music, make a good beat, put visuals to it. Um, there's no one else like him, so... Uh, I've also put a lot of my friends onto him and they, they love him as well. So uh, I can't say enough good things about him. So yeah, if you've never been here before, check out my playlist, uh, my past reactions and my journey with him. Uh, and if you enjoy my content and like to, and I want to subscribe, I really appreciate that. Helps let me know what is wanted here and I uh, can get more of that for you guys. If not, I appreciate it nonetheless. So yeah, let's get to it. Double reaction. We're going to start with parentheses. Um, and it's just a lyric video, so we're not going to like analyze the, the visuals too much unless there's something... I don't, something kind of crazy that pops up, but uh, can't wait to hear the song. So, three, two, one. Let me make sure the subtitles are on. Let's go. Oh, the vibes already. Ooh, and there is kind of like a. I thought it would just be. Like a still image. And this is Laura Mum. I think she was in a past, a past uh, song I listened to. I already love these like kind of chiller vibes um, with this ch with her chopped up vocal sample. Kind of soulful. My type of vibe already. Ooh. That's me. Nick. I wish. I really love the instrumental so much. I'm trying to pick out all the little instruments. I don't pump no peel, I don't pump no puck say. What in your lake, I think you made a running late. Run the bang at my pit for coming, changing day. You threat with Bussra, Pitch, or they suck by the maid. I said, She wouldn't want to throw no tail. The instrumentation isn't, I guess, the best way to describe it is more, is like more chill. Um, but there's. I wanted to point out that despite that, there's still so much going on in the background. The vocal melodies. Okay, 
I like how that goes against what most people would do. I don't wanna go outside I love how his lyrics are always him like kind of it's like a social commentary on life, people he he runs into or has experiences dealing with, family, friends, like uh, coworkers, strangers, friends turn enemies, you know, just he he's able to comment on a lot of different situations. And then flip it into something that is relatable or something he could talk about in his song, um, and and just like kind of point out like the the pitfalls of it or uh, the negatives and, and some the positives as well. So like he's he's such a good lyricist that he can really make any type of song from anything. It could be just a, a random experience meeting someone on the street, and he can write you know a, a whole verse about it. So. I like that so much that, that he's able to do that. I don't wanna go outside tonight. I don't wanna go outside tonight. There's orange trying to shine red or sky. Chivani panumba pehai. I love this sound in the back. Makes you feel kind of uneasy. It's like spacey, soulful, chill, calm. And just creates a really nice vibe. That was beautiful. I want to go there. Wow, man. That is beautiful. How's that a lyric video, though? I don't know. At least in the West, like, this would be a better music video, even though he's just chilling, vibing with his friends. Better, better than, like, most, most things people put out. Definitely love that. Uh, really my type of music. What really stood out to me the most, besides the beat, which I liked, um, and, like, his flows, we, we know how good he is at flowing. He didn't really need to do it here because it was a specific type of beat and it kind of called for a more slower and deliberate flow. Um, but what really stood out was his lyrics uh, meshing with that more chill side of the of the instrumental. But more than that, he had like an aggressive tone when he was rapping. We've seen in the past where he would where it would be a bit more like sing song rapping. I guess like mo people mostly associate that with Drake, uh, you know, when, when he came out like 10, 15 years ago. Yeah, I just like how he just did his own thing and it wasn't he didn't say oh this this beat is more uh on, on the relaxing side so let me kind of relax as well he he didn't really do that so anyway that's instant playlist um definitely gonna listen to that more anyway we're gonna move on to coda uh also very excited about that one and let's get to it all right three two one let's get it sorry i want to read that again I noticed my search bar had Vanda in it on the corner. I hope it wasn't up the whole time. It might be. I might just be blind. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, this is cool. I guess this is a Singapore performance video. Time to rise. SIM card. I was listening to music the whole time. Getting hyped up. That saxophone already. Oh, I love how gritty it sounds too. Like some 80s, 90s, like New York at night type vibe. You bring the time play, you try to get no tool. You bring the time play, you move no boom. You bring up what the sound, don't you see, man? No one thought it did, did, like and like. You try to put the beard, put the climb and salt. You soap the chill with cheer, then that's man, man. You spend all the money right away. You bring the tip and then dunk shot. Ooh, wait. 
Ah, that was sick. I love that delay drop. Faked me out. This beat is nasty. Kind of reminds me of that uh, Kendrick Lamar, but it has its own, you know, like uh, sprinkle of Vanda's style and um, like what he brings, of course. <laughs> I love that sound in the back. I was gonna point out his lyrics he's able to talk about so many different things like he can go from you know one topic to another to another subject to a totally different thing in the same song and yet it's it all still feels connected in some way and it is connected it's just like his train of thought and his thought process makes him write like that and it's a skill and he's just able to connect all of that and and like talk his shit you know like he's uh, he's amazing at that and his beats, his instrumentals always do this, evolve, add new sounds. I want to go to Vanda's show so bad. 
anyway man that was fire what else can i say that i haven't said already like the first song uh parentheses um you know you can play that you know at any you know you can go to the beach play that you can be chilling with your friends um kind of just sitting around at night uh you know drinking a little bit uh having having something nice to eat kind of chilling and uh play that and you're just gonna you're gonna feel the vibe and uh like I said, I introduced so many people to Vanda already. I feel like that he can just reach anybody and be able to connect with them. Um, and then this one, Coda, it still has a more, like, there's there's just something very Vanda about it. It's not too, too hype, but it's definitely like a, kind of like a braggadocious sort of, um, like, talk my shit type of song over this this ever-evolving beat that had that, that main piano as the driving force of it, but always adding a lot to it, the saxophone, the synthy parts that kind of like are sprinkled in throughout the song. Yeah, it just makes for such such a unique experience every time. Um, this one, I really like this one. One of my uh, more recent favorites of his, but he's been putting out a lot of bangers lately, so I don't know, I can't even say. Maybe one day I'll make like a video of my favorite uh, Vanda songs and see what's changed, like where, where I put them. and. I rated them in the past just I don't know we'll see um so yeah if you guys have st stuck around the song I appreciate it uh always fun going back to him and uh it'll continue so thank you guys I'll see you next time peace